Many people are out here today to remember their loved ones. Community members say it's not a day of mourning, but rather a celebration of good times for those who have passed. I have pictures of loved ones from my father to friends. Maxine Perez, along with many other people, gathered at Officer Jeremy Henwood Memorial Park in City Heights to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. And we paint our faces so we all blend in, so nobody's afraid of each other. And it's a beautiful, loving experience. It's very happy, especially me as a Mexican, celebrate my tradition and my culture. Antonio Figueroa says this 14th annual event initially started as a class project in the 90s. His grandmother has been the lead organizer, and now he is taking the reins. It's big shoes to fill, and one of my grandmother's missions is to interact with everyone. The Day of the Dead can be traced back to the native peoples of central and southern Mexico. Mexican tradition holds that on November 1st and 2nd, the dead awaken to reconnect and celebrate with their living family and friends. Dia de los Muertos is a tradition that Hispanics have where we set uh, altars and we put photos of our loved ones who have passed and we put things that they liked in life. So things such as drinks, as foods, as beverages, flowers. Marigolds are very significant to this holiday. Organizers say their strong scent provides a pathway from death to life. It is told that the marigolds are what guides the dead to the altar, to the family. But it's been there since the Aztecs uh, roamed. I mean, they used to tribute their dead way back when, and the tradition has slowly evolved. Along with celebrating loved ones, they also had a vaccination site. So people can get, uh, become more safe um, around their family and around um, their loved ones. Those special loved ones that will be remembered not only today, but forever. The Dia de los Muertos has always been a highlight of the year for me. They're in a better place and we like to celebrate the life that they had. Organizers also say they hope this event brings people from all cultures together. I'm Ariana Cohen for News 8.